Oh, Miss Nappy back. Call on you, you know, Miss Sam. Takes me ages to get my heart on properly. Cause I can never tell if I'm looking straight at the camera. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna get into it. Yo, guys, what's going on? Uh-huh, uh-huh. But yo, guys, what is going on? I don't know how well that sort of intro was. But welcome, be welcome! That's not what I meant to say. I said meant to say welcome to a brand new video. And today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to stream to both Twitch and also YouTube. Hopefully that works. Oh, I don't even know. We're gonna put one of them somewhere. I'm gonna put little pictures, you know, because little pictures makes everything look better. It makes it look like I'm doing actual shit when I'm editing a video. But yeah, so I'm gonna show you guys how to actually stream to both websites. Uh, really easy, and um, it's gonna be a really quick and easy video to, for me to make as well. Yeah, so let's get into it. I'm gonna swap over to my main monitor. Right, so jumping over to my screen right here, you can see I've gone to a website called Restream.io. The link will be in the description for you guys just to make it that tad easier even though it's not that hard to type. Once you get to the website, I'm not gonna click in the box because it does show my email, but once you get here, all you're gonna do is create an account if you obviously I've already got one. But anyway, all you're gonna do right here is create an account and then put you into the account. So what I'm gonna do really quickly is I'm gonna log into mine and show you inside Restream itself. Right, so this is what it's going to look like when you are inside of Restream.io and all it's so simple. You won't get these two channels here obviously because you won't have done anything yet. But what you wanna do is like whilst you're starting all this you want to add your channel so you're going to go to add channel and then as you can see there's a many lists many lists there's a list of uh, like different websites you've got periscope daily motion youtube and twitch and whatever your main few uh, there's obviously a few others that i've never even seen what the fuck is breakers tv and just cast never seen them before in my life but if you use them they are there it does also have a custom platform but i think you have to pay for it i'm not too certain but once you've done that i'll show you what happens actually i'll take my twitch off and then we'll add my twitch we're going to add Twitch, connect with Twitch. You can also set it up manually. If you're already signed in to your Twitch, obviously, on your account, just click on the whatever button I just clicked. I can't even remember. That's how bad my memory is. And then just click authorize, and that'll be instantly connected to your account. As you can see, it's added it to the bottom. I don't care about restarting my broadcast settings. So obviously, you've got your two your accounts up. Say I've got my YouTube and my Twitch, because they're where I mainly stream to. And then what you're wanting to do is head over to the right-hand side of the screen over here, as you can see. This window here, where it says offline, will actually preview the video. I didn't find out until like halfway through whilst I was streaming the other night. They actually showed me there that I was streaming. But what it'll do is connect your video there, and then these two things will say connecting. Eventually, once I've set, once you've set all the broadcast settings up, and that's how it goes through. But like I say, we're going to go over to here. We're going to go to the actual settings that we need now what you want to do is with this is you want to find the server that's closest to your location in america i'm not going to show where you are obviously but just pick a, a server that's closest to you and then leave it there now the next thing you want to do is you want to grab your stream key i'm not going to click this because this will display my stream key and i just can't be asked for the fuss of changing it but what you want to do is uh, you know what right i'll just refresh my stream key afterwards so you want to click it and it'll bring up your stream key and then what you want to do is you want to copy that you want to then head over to your recording software this is awkward as hell i'm gonna grab that actually i'm gonna I'm going to take that off screen again. I don't know why I brought it on. I'm, I'm an idiot. We're going to bring up my settings and just bring that across. Right. So there we are. So once we're into our OBS settings, obviously I'm using my OBS Studio. This also works in XSplit, I believe. I'm not sure what other platforms this works in. I've not tried it because obviously it is a stream key and you might be able to put it into wherever. Now... Once you get to here, you want to make sure, when you, when you go to your stream tab on, oh, yes, anyway, I don't have XSplit, so try and follow along if you've got XSplit, it'll sort of fall into the same places. But if you don't XSplit, go, go to your stream settings and wherever, wherever you'd normally put a stream key and head into there. For OBS, it's obviously right there. Now, what you want to do is go to your services and you'll see all your different broadcasting services pop up in a list. Head down to the bottom of that list, which isn't that big, and just click restream.io. Then, obviously, with the server, you want to make sure you set it to the same server you just chose, which is closest to you. Set that to the same one, and then, obviously, the stream key, just paste there, and then apply. Done. And then, all you're going to do once you've set that up, like I say, this is awkward as all balls to see. But all you're going to do, then, is obviously click Start Streaming. And once you've clicked Start Streaming, like I said before, it's going to head up to the top right box where it says Offline on my screen right now. And then, it's just going to take you through... The, well, it's not going to take you through. It's going to go through the process of bringing both your streams online. And you will then be live. It is that simple, guys. That is how easy it is to stream to two websites at once. I'm not sure how many you can do. That I, I, 
I just streamed to two because that's what I wanted to do. You can try more if you really wish. It might ask for payment because there is like options for pays in here. Like if you go to Black Friday part of it, there is like pay prices for stuff. I'm not sure what it is, but I mean, two forty nine to do something. I mean, why not? Yeah, it's a bit two forty nine. It's like not even much. It's like a fucking like a cup of coffee. You can die without. Yeah, no, die. You can do without a cup of coffee for a day each month just to pay for this. Simple, simple. But hopefully this video helps you to be able to stream to your sites and your streaming platforms and pull in as many views as you like, that is up to you. And hopefully you gain a better audience from it because obviously if you stream to multiple platforms, that means more people are going to see it, meaning more people are going to stay around and watch you, meaning you're not just streaming there to yourself, chit-chatting alone, feeling lonely. Within the sound of silence but anyway guys, that has been the video. Hopefully it has been very insightful to you and hopefully it has helped a few of you out there be able to do this. Uh, especially if you've been looking for it a while. I, I, just, I just wanted to top myself when I couldn't find it for ages. But yeah, anyway guys, like I keep saying, thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video. Peace!